It's the holidays and you may be thinking about picking up one of these new colorful HomePod minis, or maybe you've been using HomePods for a while. This video is meant to give you some ideas with 10 everyday HomePod mini uses. So let's take a look. Now, if you want to learn more about these HomePod minis or check out any of the other Apple videos I've made, links in the description. The HomePod mini has some great features and it keeps getting better all the time. I do think people underestimate what Apple's doing in the smart home space and with these HomePod minis. So I've put together this list so you have more ideas of what you can do with them. This isn't a tutorial video at all. It's just to introduce these concepts and ideas. Are you using any of the HomePod minis? If not, are you planning on buying one? Let us know in the comment section. Now, number one is one of the most used features in my my house is timers and alarms. Timers are very convenient, keep track of the things going on around you. You can set a single timer, you can name it, and you can set multiple timers, each with their own name. Hey Siri, set a meditation timer for two minutes. Two minute meditation timer counting down. You can always check in on it by saying, hey Siri, how much time is left on my timer? On it. Meditation timer with about one minute and 46 seconds to go. HomePod minis can make great alarms. You could use your voice to set an alarm to wake up to a song, an artist, a genre, or even one of your playlists. Hey Siri, wake me up to my Amix playlist at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I set your Amix playlist alarm for 7 a.m. tomorrow. Now you can set your alarms and manage them in the home app. If you go into the app, you select the HomePod you want, you do a long press on it, and there you'll see your alarms. Alarms are great for triggering routines when they go off. I have one here that when my alarm goes off in the morning, it turns on my coffee machine, waits 90 seconds, turns the lamp on, turns my TV on, and then launches into Hulu for me. Now, big benefit of going with the HomePod Mini and Siri is going to be that integration across Apple devices and Apple apps. That's a big advantage that not a lot of other companies can compete with. Now to get the most out of your HomePod mini, you're gonna to wanna to make sure in the Home app you have Recognize My Voice and Personal Request on. Because with those items on, and you can pick which devices you want to uh, take personal requests. When Siri recognizes your voice, you're gonna get responses based on your apps and information. So if you wanna make a call, it comes from your contacts. You wanna send a message, it knows it's coming from your phone and messaging app. You can access your calendars, reminders, uh, music, really. There's a lot of personal stuff you get back you're not gonna find on a lot of other speakers. Number two use is calendars. My wife and I sync our work calendars personal calendars, and a calendar for our kids. Really makes it easy to keep track of what everyone's doing. It also is very easy with the HomePod Mini to put things on a particular calendar. Hey Siri, add record video at 6 p.m. to my work calendar. Okay, Craig, it's on your calendar for today from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. The appointment is called work. And there it is in my calendar app under the work calendar. Hey Siri, what's on my calendar today? At 6 p.m. work. Now my wife asked she'd get information from her calendars and the ones that her and I share. Number three is reminders. Reminders are great for keeping track of my schedule and for syncing shopping lists with my wife. My wife and I sync three reminders lists. We have a Costco, Target, and shopping list. Now, if any of us needs anything from those stores, we put it onto the list and there's no excuse if you, uh, if the other person doesn't know about it. I like having the native app integration that goes across all my devices. I could lift my wrist, I can hold down the button on my phone, or I could just speak into the air to the HomePod minis. Hey Siri, add milk to my Target list. Number four is messages. If you're using a HomePod mini, you're using an iPhone. And that means you're probably using the messages app. Uh, you can send messages from your HomePod minis. Hey Siri, text Craig Paulson. One moment. What do you want to say? Testing to see how messaging over HomePod mini works. One sec. Your message to Craig Polson says testing to see how messaging over HomePod mini works. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Now when you have an incoming text, you could say, hey, 
Security, what's my messages? Craig Polson sent a new message. Testing to see how messaging over HomePod Mini works. Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? It is working out well. I am sending you a message back. Your reply to Craig Polson says it is working out well. I am sending you a message back. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. That's everything. I like that I can send and receive messages in my native messaging app. Number five is intercom. In my house, we use Echo devices to make announcements and to drop in. Well, Apple has intercom and it has a nice little twist that's different from some of these other devices. The intercom feature can go to all your family members' devices. So if the kids have some earbuds in, uh, they still can hear you because it'll go right to their device. So no excuses for not hearing you. you can Make general announcements to all your devices. You can pick an individual device or pick a zone. Hey Siri, tell everybody dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Now if you want to reply, you just tell Siri to reply and then say what you want. Now also you can set up intercom so that it will only go off when you're at home. That way you're not getting announcements while you're outside of the house. Number six is music and podcasts. With the HomePod minis, you can stream your Apple Music or your Apple Podcast. You can call up an artist, a song, a genre, a uh, playlist, or a streaming station. Hey Siri, play classical music. Classical station now playing. Apple added the ability to be able to add additional speakers. Hey Siri, add bedroom HomePod. One moment. And it'll come out of here in a minute. Now also playing on the bedroom home pod. We got it here. And if I want, I could stop it here. Hey Siri, stop playing on the office mini. On it. And we're just here. Now if you set up zones such as upstairs, downstairs, you can add or move between those two. Now you may not know this, but there are some other services that work with the HomePods. They are Pandora, iHeartRadio, Deezer, and TuneIn. What you can do is if you have any of those services, you go within their app and you connect it with HomeKit. Once you connect it with HomeKit, you can go under the default services and change them to one of those. And if a service you want to use isn't supported, you can always airplay directly to the speakers. Unfortunately, there is no way to connect with Bluetooth from other devices to the HomePods. Number seven is pairing HomePod minis with an Apple TV. You can take a single HomePod mini or a single full-size HomePod and pair it with an Apple TV or a pair of them. And Apple makes it pretty easy. If you take a HomePod and you add it into the same room as an Apple TV, it's going to prompt you to uh, see if you want to join those two together. If you add a second HomePod mini into a room with a HomePod mini, it'll ask if you wanna make those a pair. These are nice sounding speakers and two of these are probably gonna sound better than most TV speakers out there. Number eight is calling and like other smart speakers, you can use the HomePod mini to make outgoing calls. Hey Siri, call Craig Polson. Calling Craig Polson, home. And it's coming in right now. And if I wanted to answer, and actually it's answering because it's... Press one now to continue this call in English. See, it's using it um, as for the outgoing call. Unlike other brands of smart speakers, you can take incoming calls. Now, with Amazon Echoes, you can, if you have AT&T or Verizon, you can pair your account to be able to take incoming calls that way. But natively, there is no incoming call support. I'm getting an incoming call right now. Hey Siri, answer the phone. Hello? Hello. Hey, hey. you're in my video Can now. You hear me, honey? Yes, I get to hear you. You're on the HomePod oh, Mini. <laughs> now, number nine is handoff. And handoff's a great feature that allows you to transfer a phone call or audio you're listening to 
to the HomePod mini or from the HomePod mini back to your phone. So for example, I could be watching a YouTube video You've been using them for a while. and I bring it over here next to the mini and it will send the audio no over to this. Some updates over the past year. If I want to send it back to the phone, bring it close and it gives me the option to transfer back to the phone. That is a feature you're not going to get from the other smart assistants. They may have Bluetooth to connect up, but not that just passing over back and forth so easily. Number 10 is smart home control. With the HomePod minis, you can control your lights, switches, plugs, cameras, and more. Uh, the thing you have to keep in mind is devices do have to be HomeKit certified. That does limit the amount of devices and it also may add expense to certain devices, but it can add some extra security other devices don't have. Once you have your devices set up, you can say, hey Siri, turn Office One off. And you're gonna see that light over there went off. If I wanna turn off lights that are assigned in the same room as this, I can say, hey Siri, lights off and those turned off. Now you can go in the app and you can make scenes and then say, hey Siri, blue video. One sec. You could use those scenes in your other devices to create automations, which are a series of steps. I use automations all around the house. I have one that in the morning when you walk down the stairs, the motion detector picks up somebody between the hours of 5 and 8 a.m. It'll turn on the living room lights and the kitchen lights. I have another one that at sunset shuts my curtains. A new addition this year is being able to ask for things to happen in the future. Hey Siri, turn off the lights in five minutes. I've set the lights to turn off at 2.21 p.m. today. Perfect. And that actually creates an automation that you'll find within your app. Now I'm just scratching the surface with these 10 features. There are a lot more you can do with these devices. Uh, what is your favorite use for your HomePod? Let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great Apple information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.